at first when I heard about this whole infinity gimbal roll, I said to myself, this is real gimmicky, but actually I think it is a really cool shot that gives these cinematic type drones a tech a type of FPV kind of experience when it's rolling, but it's a smooth FPV experience. You don't want to do it too fast to get people dizzy and you don't want every shot to be a gimbal roll, but I think it makes a beautiful opener or beautiful closer to anyone's video. As a matter of fact, I think you could practically stick this shot anywhere. Just don't use too much of it. It's a really good shot and a very useful feature. Before I even get this tutorial video started, I must first give credit to Autel for producing the Autel Light drone. That's actually a three-year-old drone and the first drone to actually innovate and implement a four-axis gimbal with the infinity roll. And in the same breath, I've got to give DJI credit for taking that same concept and just bringing it to a whole nother level with a triple camera setup that can do the infinity roll. This gimbal can actually roll to the left minus 40 degrees and that's it. It stops right there and to the right it can rotate a complete 360 degrees going all the way to 400 degrees max. So not quite infinity. Infinity would be round and round and round and round and never stops. So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I don't want you to go rolling left or rolling right on your gimbal and find yourself getting stuck and wondering why am I not rolling infinitely. The very first thing I recommend before you even think about rolling this gimbal is getting your button for your gimbal roll set up properly. Now by default you have to press and hold this left button on the here and scroll the wheel either right or left to roll the gimbal left or right. If you do not hold this button down while you roll the wheel, it will not gimbal roll. If you just scroll the wheel, all the camera will do is zoom in and zoom out. And when you're getting started with anything new, easier and simpler is always the best way to start. So I recommend go into your control at the top of your screen, go in the control menu, scroll down to button customization, click on the right dial that drops down and set that to gimbal roll. What that will do is avoid you from having to hold this down all the time while you're flying and all you need to do now is roll this left or roll it right to start your gimbal roll. Another thing that you should be aware of when talking about limitations is the ability for this to gimbal roll while you're tilting down or while you're tilting up. If you look down too much with this gimbal, it will not allow you to infinity roll. Basically, give or take, you can only be tilted up about 13 degrees and tilted down about 13 degrees if you want to do the infinity roll. So I would say anywhere minus 13 or plus 13, that is probably your max tilt that will allow you to gimbal roll. So bear that in mind. Instead of just rolling in one direction and going round and round and round, start off by rolling on the minus side, on the minus 40 degrees. And as you're approaching the minus 40 degrees, whip it in the other direction. And that gives you a nice tilt in one direction and then start the rolling process. So it gives you a nice wavy kind of a start. I find that to be very uh, cinematic looking as opposed to just rolling in one direction from beginning to end. So that's a pretty good tip for you right there. Until you really get the hang of this gimbal mode, set your camera in auto and forget it because these drones in particular, this one has a very good auto exposure that will handle all the camera settings for you, the ISO, the aperture, the shutter, and then you don't have to think about the camera settings and pulling off a nice cinematic gimbal infinity roll. Motion is always good when you're rolling and tilting and doing these things. So you want to be flying forward or flying back or flying right or flying left. The best way that I think you can do that is just by taking your controller, pushing this button over and going into C or cinematic mode. Cinematic mode will have all the drones controls flying nice and smooth and slow and that way you can concentrate on your rolls without having to worry about crashing into anything. Better yet, I will tell you if you are nervous about this and this is your first time or maybe you don't have that much experience with drones, 
you can just let the drone sit right there, find a nice subject like a clock that I found over here, zoom in on it, use your, your all. You can do this role with any one of the three cameras, your, your telephoto, any one of the two, or your main camera. Find a nice subject to lock in on and keep the drone hovering right there and just roll. Because that by itself is a good start. You don't have to worry about flying and doing the roll. Just practice your roll, lock in on a subject like I did over here. And that's the best way to start getting comfortable and making sure you don't get dizzy or you're not rolling too fast or rolling too slow. Why? Because the faster or the more pull you put on this wheel, the faster it will roll. And if you go gradually on the wheel, gradually it will roll. You don't want to have to worry about handling the sticks and the roll at the same time. Just leave the drone hovering, execute your roll, left, roll right, get the hang of the wheel and how the camera and the gimbal operates when you're rolling. Get your, your muscle memory used to that before you jump on the sticks and go flying and rolling at the same time. If you're enjoying this video so far, give me a huge thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any more content on the DJI Mavic 4 Pro. The next thing that you want to try and practice when doing your infinity roll and holding down that wheel and locking in on that shot is paying attention to the gauge that's on the screen that tells you how many degrees your gimbal is rolling. And why is that important? Because to pull a nice shot off, you definitely want to finish, not at the 400 mark in my opinion, but more at the 360 degree mark. So that way your gimbal finishes nice and level and your shot just looks so perfect as opposed to spinning and then ending up a little crooked that could actually ruin your shot i actually wish if there's an improvement to this feature i would ask dji if you're listening to this that, that we could set pins at the stopping points that we want digital pins press it on the screen mark the 360 spot, the 180, the 400, wherever we want to finish the shot at. And then the gimbal will automatically mark that. And as it, as it approaches that mark, it will automatically slow down and finish perfectly at that 360 degree. So we can actually carry on the shot into another shot. And that would be even cooler. And that way we won't have to cut the shot, especially if we overspin or on their spin because your gimbal could be twisted this way or twisted over that way. Keep practicing till you nail that shot and that shot and that gimbal finishes nice and your horizon's nice and straight and you can roll off into the next shot. That would be ideal. If not, you can always cut it and move into the next shot. No big deal. But yeah, DJI, if we can have that digital markers where we want to end the shot and then you can uh, automatically slow it down and level it out for us. That will be great. When you start your infinity shot and you start moving your gimbal around this way, going, going, going all the way around 360 degrees, boom, and you've completed your shot, then hit stop recording. And then on the left bottom over here, this button, just tap it and that will reset back the gimbal back to its original position. Because if you leave it in the 360 and you go to do the next infinity shot, you're not going to get much to the right. But guess what? You will get to the left. And that brings me to the next point. If you want to do a left because everybody's gimbal rotation is going this way and you want to go the other way, well, then set it to 360 degrees and then start going in the opposite direction and you will get a complete 360 degrees going in the opposite direction so that your infinity spin doesn't look like everyone else's going in the exact same direction. Be sure to explore all three of your cameras when doing the infinity gimbal roll because number one, you can do it with all three cameras. And number two, you might think the wide main Hasselblad camera is actually gonna look the best, but until you jump to that 2.5x zoom or you jump to that 6x zoom and try the infinity roll you might find that hey it actually looks better on one of these other camera views just be aware when you're flying to the right or flying to the left you can see through these obstacle avoidance cameras that are located right here and that will show you if there's anything coming up like buildings or power lines or anything that 
maybe the sensor might not pick up or maybe if you found yourself in sports mode and you're just flying focusing on your infinity you might infinity smack into something going this way or going that way or going backwards kind of hard to do it forward right because you're seeing what's in front of you but yeah pay attention to that obstacle avoidance view camera that's in the bottom left have that open and just keep glancing at it every now and again to make sure that you get a safe executed infinity roll and not an infinity roll that lands you into a power line or a building and every infinity roll that you're probably seeing is people flying forward or people flying backwards don't forget you can infinity roll while ascending or you can infinity roll while you're descending so don't hesitate to be creative try all different types of angles and rolls and, and different flight paths up down left right try everything to see what gets you a shot that you like not that everybody else likes a shot that you like if you guys want a detailed tutorial on this infinity gimbal roll on a more in-field one-on-one as i go through it please let me know in the comment section below if you find yourself drifting off the subject a little bit left and right because there's wind or whatever that's moving the drone around it's not perfectly still it's flying in space use this left stick just ever so slightly just to yaw left or to yaw right what that will do is while you're infinity rolling locking in on your subject you hit that left stick left and right it'll angle the drone to the left angle the drone to the right so that way you can stay on locked on your subject because nothing is perfect yes the gps is very precise on these drones but just the slightest movement can tr throw anything off so be aware of that every look a lot of this stuff is going to take practice but that's the fun in droning right now as you start getting better on the wheels on your controller both wheels on your infinity roll and both of your sticks on the infinity roll as well take a look at what my friend jeff did while flying at the unisphere uh, a few days ago he actually did the infinity roll and then into a roll looking down and he transitioned the shot so smoothly that i think he's on to something tell me what you guys think of this shot and just have an open mind when using this infinity roll because you can get some really really creative looking footage if you're up there and you're scared to fly on your own maybe by a city or in the city somewhere that's that you're flying and you don't want to hit anything especially at night then what you do is you go to your waypoints just like how you would normally do waypoints on any dji drone you lock in on your waypoints fly the waypoints lock them in save it and then execute it and while it's going through the waypoints boom start your infinity roll start rolling your life away and you don't have to worry about crashing because it's locked in on waypoints and even if you're worried about that run the waypoints through one time make sure that it's, it's a clean run and then you don't have to worry about anything while the drone is moving and you can focus on your infinity roll how about that the only thing is you have to go into your waypoint settings before you hit go there's a setting in there that you can adjust your camera manually set your camera to manual otherwise when you go through the waypoints the camera is going to lock in the position that it was in when you marked your waypoint and you don't want that you want control over your camera so just remember to put it in manual and then you can have waypoints with your infinity roll how cool is that if you guys want a detailed tutorial on that as well let me know in the comment section below you guys got to tell me what you want so i know what to focus on so please give me a huge thumbs up for this video make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already so you get notified when i release new videos now it's definitely worth noting that in certain mo hyperlapse modes quick shot modes um, not master shots you can set the range of motion for the gimbal and actually have it automatically uh, start and stop a infinity roll 
And in some of the shots, you have to do it manually as well, but it is available in some hyperlapse modes and some quick shots modes, which is really cool. But when it comes to just shooting plain video and flying normally, there's no way, at least that I know of, that you can automatically set your gimbal to do the infinity roll and lock in the degrees where you want it to start and where you want it to finish automatically. If you're looking for LUTs for your Mavic 4 Pro or any other drone that shoots log color profile, head over to www.dronexfactor.com. I've got a pack of 60 something LUTs guaranteed. One of them will give you a great starting point for your video footage. Think about becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. That's $12 a year. You get direct access to me. It's like sending me a text message on my phone and I can respond to you directly. It's a great way to get your questions answered, any help or support you need, and a great way to support this channel. That pretty much wraps this video up. I've got to run and I will catch you guys well in the next Mavic 4 Pro video. Learning flights with Xavier Spence.